Here we have x bullseye y, um, and that's equal to x y squared minus 3y. What is the value of 2 bullseye 3? Now, I'm sure you've never seen these questions in school before. They're very unique to the SAT exam. Um, they're just called special function questions. But we treat them the same way as we do a normal f of x equals function. So what happens here is when we have the circle with the dot, or I'll continue to call it bullseye, the number that comes in front of it, that will be your x value. The number that follows the, the symbol will be y. And so what happens is the number before the bullseye, which is our x value, we're going to plug that in for that x value here. The number following the bullseye, which is our y value, we will plug in for that y and that y as well. So in this case, we have 2 bullseye 3, where 2 is our x value, 3 is our y value. We will plug 2 in for x and 3 in for y, and again, 3 in for this y as well. And then we can solve. 2 times 9 would be 18 minus 3 times 3, which is 9. And so the final answer is none. So whether they give you a bullseye, uh, they might use a heart or maybe like a squiggly sign, um, a rectangle, uh, a hashtag, whatever they use. Um, just make sure you think of it in terms of just it being a special function. Solve it just as you would a normal f of x question. Just see what your x, y values are, or if they use different letters, um, for instance, a and b. It doesn't really matter. Just figure out which number represents what letter and plug it into uh, the appropriate spaces in the subsequent following equation that they give.